Just two of them, him and his brother, looking for his wife, not a easy journey. No Google maps to guide, just by people's guidance you have to go totally unbroken terrain everywhere. He reached here and then he saw the man who's kidnapped his wife has a formidable army and fully organized but they're just two of them. So, they sought the help of Tamil people. I must say something about Tamil people here, because uh, this is a land of very exuberant, enthusiastic, devoted people. They did not look up, even now, in this culture, at that time, not at all. There was no god up there, their god is here in the earth. So they're very earthy people, full of involvement, vigor, but no fancy ideas. I wish we had lived like that, but now a lot of fancy ideas have come. People have made you feel like there is a place, another place somewhere which is better than this. That's why we are making a mess out of this. So, Tamil people were like that then, they're still like that in many ways. I'm not saying this to insult other volunteers and others, but this is my observation in the last forty years of working with volunteers. Everywhere, in every country we have fantastic volunteers, but you will see always Tamil people are little extra vigor. You want to do the most difficult things that nobody wants to do, you will see it is always Tamil people who will take it up and do it. There is a... there is a certain sense of innate commitment and devotion, which is probably culturally cultured over a period of time for thousands of years. And even when Rama came, he found that, that they became so dedicated to this new man who came from somewhere. And uh, they put themselves to it, they built a small causeway to cross to Sri Lanka. And they fought the battles, they won the battle, he got his wife back and went, ho went back. But the South Indian people who served him, one of them went with him. Today he has become a superhero all over the country, Anuman. But after Rama's time, some people, little crooked in their head, projected South Indian people who lived here six, seven thousand years ago as monkeys. So South Indian people still little, disturbed by that. They have love for Rama, but they're angry little bit with the way they have been depicted. But also they enjoy that no matter what they say, they anyway worship a South Indian man as the ultimate hero. Even if they want to win an election today, they will sing praises, praises of Hanuman even today. So, South Indian superhero is still worshipped all over the country, literally all over the world. Even a president of United States was carrying a, a small figurine of Hanuman in his pocket at one time. Yes.